So I started Forte Composer Academy about four or five years ago. And I started with a couple of more elementary courses that kind of taught you how to get started. Uh, but a little bit after that, I started thinking, you know, how do I teach more advanced techniques? And it's a difficult thing to try to get into because there's a lot, it's, it's a multifaceted discipline, you know, composing with virtual instruments, because it's not just working with virtual instruments. It's also composing. It's also orchestration. It's also production. And there, all of these things are entwined and intermingled. And there's factors like um, your ear as well, you know, what you think the music should sound like. And that's going to depend on how familiar you are with the genre of music that you're writing in. So all of these factors make it difficult to uh, create a product that says, okay, here's how you do advanced uh, virtual orchestration. Here's how you do advanced mock-ups. Um, so I, I thought about it. I was like, okay, how do, how do you actually do this? How do you teach it? How do you approach it? So what I started to do is just try to catalog uh, and articulate, you know, what are the main things that you need? What are the ingredients that you need to make virtual music, virtual orchestra produced, created, composed music actually sound good? And there's only five or six ingredients. So basically, number one, you need solid composition. You know, your note choices need to be need to be good choices. And, you know, that, that thing that kind of goes without saying, but that's also, you know, the million dollar um, topic. Uh, number two, orchestration has to be solid for instrument choices, how they're voiced, etc. And then you need to the expression, dynamics and performance of the piece needs to be solid. Uh, it needs to be actually expressed and performed in a musical way. Uh, number four, you need to use the right uh, tools and articulations for the job. So if you're doing a fast, you know, uh, a fast melody, then you need to have tools that can actually accomplish that uh, believably. And then the, the last ingredient is basically your production values need to be decent. Um, good use of reverb effects, mixing, uh, mic positions, and that kind of stuff. So those are basically just, if you have those five ingredients, you can make great music with virtual uh, instruments. Um, and then I started thinking about, okay, what are the most common weaknesses that I hear in um, virtual instrument created music? And they basically correspond to these five, but are the inverse. So composition and orchestration not being really great, uh, but some mock-up specific things that I hear a lot that keep the, the hold the music back. Probably the most common problem I hear is flat and inexpressive uh, performances in programming. And probably the second most common one I hear is people not using the right patch or the right articulation for the job that they're trying to perform. And so those are the things I have decided to focus on in my educational uh, the first two volumes of this series, Bringing Virtual Orchestra Music to Life. So volume one, focus on expression, dynamics, and performance. And volume two is focusing on articulation use, patch use, how to identify the, the, the jobs, the tasks that need to be done, and what tool is going to be most appropriate uh, for that task. So I think this is going to be really helpful for those of you who are trying to figure out how to use, how to manage the orchestral libraries that you already have. It may give you insight on ones you need to get uh, and which, which ones you actually will need to get in the future so you don't fall for uh, all the advertising uh, that's out there. Um, and hopefully this can just help your music become more colorful, uh, feel more alive, and, and be more interesting. So keep your eyes peeled. I'm going to be releasing this course on uh, April 15th. Uh, but currently, you can, if you uh, believe in the product, uh, you believe in um, my instruction, you know, you can take a risk and join the pre-order crew. And the special pre-order price for that is $110. It'll jump up to an intro price on April 15th when the product is released, and that'll be $140. And it'll run at that intro price for a month. And on May 15th, it'll switch over to its regular price of $175. So I'm pretty excited about this course. I'm still in the final stages of scripting and production and uh, ironing out all the content that I need to cover. But I think it's going to be pretty good. And I, I think it's going to help a lot of people. So stay tuned. I'll be dropping more updates on that uh, over the coming weeks. Thanks.